Okay, lesson 4.2, we're going to be comparing and ordering rational num numbers. <clears throat> the objective is to compare and order rational numbers. So when you see a fraction or a decimal or percent, you're able to um, put it in order from least to greatest. Um, just sort of view um, our symbols, this circle, or this circle. This in the circle is the less than symbol, the greater than, the less than and equal to, or the greater than or equal to. Um, and in the past, you may not have memorized what each of those symbols meant. You just may have made sure that the alligator was eating the biggest number or however you were taught. But as we go through this year, we're going to have a couple different times where we're working with inequalities, and you're going to need to know what those symbols mean. So um, now's a good time to start trying to figure out a way to help you memorize them. And I have some ideas that we'll talk about in class. Number one, we have negative one and five six and negative one and one six. And so we look at these numbers and uh, for the most part, they're the same. You have your one whole, your negative one whole, your six is your denominator. So really what we're left with is looking towards the numerators to see which one is less than the other. So this is a negative one and five six and a negative one and one six. So really we could say that this is like a negative five and a negative one. And which one is less than the negative five? So you would have negative one and five six is less than negative one and one six. Number two is very similar to number one. We have negative five and five ninths and negative five and one ninth. So our whole numbers are negative five. So we look to our numerator and it's like we have a negative five and a negative one and which one is less than is negative five and five ninths. So we have negative five and five ninths is less than negative five and one ninth. Okay, number three is seven twelfths and eight eighteenths. And these do not have a common denominator. So to be able to compare them, we need to have a common denominator so we look at um, 7 twelfths and 8 eighteenths, and our common denominator would be 36. So to get 12 to 36, we're going to multiply by 3. And to get 18 to 36, we're going to multiply by 2. So this leaves us with 21, 36, compared to 16, 36. When we look at this, we know that 2136 is greater than 1636. Number four, here we are comparing 20% 20 to 529. So an easy way to do this would be make, to make 529 a percentage um, so that we can compare percents. So to do that, we need to do division. So we take 5 divided by 29 and 29 goes into 50 um, one time and then we subtract and we're left with 21 bring down a zero 29 goes into 210 seven times, and seven times 29 is 203. And we subtract, we're left with a seven, bring down a zero. 29 goes into 72 times. We're going to stop there. So. 5 and 20, 5 twenty ninths as a decimal would be 0 and 172 thousandths. So comparing that or making that a decimal, or making it is a decimal, making it a percent, we're going to move it over to, so comparing 20% to 17 and 2 tenths percent. 20% is greater than. 17 and 2 tenths percent. 